do not cling to our light. Sussex fell back with shamefacedness at Royal's breaking off letter. Over the years, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have become a controversial topic amongst the public, with some people absolutely loving them and others having conducted hate campaigns against them. Ever since Harry and Meghan's marriage back in 2018, the royal family was forever changed. Meghan was specifically targeted by the British population, which eventually led to the couple revoking their royal titles and duties as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. There have been talks about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry possibly returning to the UK to grace some important royal events this year. A new poll suggested that some netizens do not welcome the idea of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex being back in Britain, two years after Megxit. It recently polled its readers to see if they would accept Meghan Markle and Prince Harry if they returned to the royal family as working royals if Prince Charles became king. The poll was conducted in the wake of rumours that the Sussex couple may return to the United Kingdom later this year, as well as claims that the Prince of Wales will shortly take over the monarchy. A total of 52,358 respondents participated in the poll. Of the total number of votes cast, 48,897, 93%, voted no while 2,631, 5%, said yes. The remaining 830, 2%, said they did not know. After the respondents cast their votes, some also left comments below the poll. One netizen stated. Harry, is a person that had the world on a plate for years, then all of a sudden he doesn't want anything to do with any of them. So my answer is no. Another reader wrote. Why on earth would you let such poison back into the family? Keep them in the States. Other netizens suggested that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry must avoid putting themselves in competition with Kate Middleton and Prince William. One user penned. There will always be this one-upmanship on Harry and Meghan's part. The publication also asked its readers if they would read Prince Harry's upcoming memoir when it is released. To recall, the book of Meghan Markle's husband is reported to hit the shelves in late 2022 and sources claimed it would shake the monarchy to its core. A total of 47,579 readers said no while 2,363 5% voted yes and 2,143 4% said they did not know if they would read it. It concluded that readers do not expect so much from Prince Harry's imminent book, particularly after his and Meghan Markle's explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey last year. One netizen shared. This book is going to be more of what we saw with Oprah. Shake the monarchy to the core, eh? Doesn't sound like he would want to visit be included, or have any contact whatsoever with his family then. Meanwhile, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have come under fire for allegedly demonstrating their authority during their ongoing security dispute in the United Kingdom. During his visit to Britain, the Duke of Sussex had sought police protection and asked the Home Office whether he might pay for his own security. Unfortunately, the Home Office rejected Prince Harry's request which prompted the brother of Prince William to launch a legal challenge against the move. The first hearing of the Duke of Sussex's claim against a Home Office decision took place at the High Court on February 18. Royal commentator Angela Levin was quick to comment on Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's latest move. She said the Sussex pair has been a dynamic duo helping the needy but instead are building up legal actions one after another. Angelina Levine even wondered what Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are trying to prove. The royal commentator furthered surely not their power. To recall, English broadcaster Kay Bailey previously urged Prince Harry to think of Queen Elizabeth as she is already dealing with a lot of things. In a tweet, she said, Oh Harry, is your grandmother not having to deal with enough, young man?